If you're a millennial, statistically, your favorite Looney Tunes character is likely to be Wile E. Coyote. But if you're a millennial from New York, it's more likely to be Bugs Bunny. What's up, Jack? Want to know more? What's up? We're Human Theory. We use real data and science to tell you a little more about you. We're going to take a look at your favorite characters from Looney Tunes based off of Ranker's more than 35,000 votes on our list of the best Looney Tunes characters of all time. And we're going to tell you a little about what all that data means. All right, let's do this thing. Right out of the gate, if you're a millennial or a Gen Zer, you're most likely to be into Wile E. Coyote. This makes sense, right? Like the younger generation, Wile E. Coyote was promised that technology would bring him to new heights of comfort and ease, only to plummet from those heights when the Acme Company rocket he was riding suddenly came to a halt in midair. And despite all his smarts, every day is a struggle to feed himself. He looks a little malnourished, doesn't he? Here's a theory. Unlike Gen X or Baby Boomers, Millennials see themselves as tragic figures instead of comic heroes, victims of circumstance beyond their control that cause the dynamite they're carrying to explode prematurely. There are some out there who sympathize with this skinny coyote, but whether you do or not, it's clear that his struggles to secure his livelihood resonates with the only generation that had to take on four unpaid internships before job recruiters took them seriously. Seriously. Meanwhile, boomers and Gen Xers prefer the rabbit, the myth, the legend, Bugs Bunny. After all, if you grew up in a world where the economy worked and it was possible to own a house, why identify with anyone other than the hero? After all, if Wile E. Coyote still hasn't caught Roadrunner, it must be because he doesn't work hard enough. Women like Marvin the Martian more than any other Looney Tunes character, while for men, he's only number 11. Um, why? Yes, very curious. Well, for one, Marvin is a quieter, more intellectual character than most of the villains that Bugs Bunny faces. It could be that female fans appreciate Marvin's dark and mysterious demeanor. He's like the Edward Cullen of Tiny Aliens. Meanwhile, loud and reckless characters seem to be more appealing to male viewers. Men tend to like Daffy Duck, Yosemite Sam, Foghorn Leghorn, and the Tasmanian Devil the most. <laughs> Maybe it's the fact that women want more subtlety from their cartoon characters, or maybe it's just that a well-dressed Martian is cuter than a tiny hairy cowboy. Them's fighting words. Now here's an interesting one. If you're from New York, the odds are you're a Bugs Bunny guy. But if you're a few miles southeast from Jersey, you're likely all about that Daffy Duck life. As Looney Tunes creator Chuck Jones put it, you can dream about being Bugs, but when you look in the mirror in the morning, you see Daffy. Everybody thinks they're Bugs Bunny. You know, suave, clever, good at cross-dressing. Isn't she lovely? But at the end of the day, most of us are actually Daffy Duck. We're irritable, hapless, shoot ourselves in the face by accident types of people. So it's no wonder that New Yorkers, the country's biggest producers of self-esteem, love bugs the most. New York City is the most important place on the planet, filled with the most important people in the world. How could they root for anyone but the hero of the story, the guy who wins every single time, the New York Yankees of cartoon characters? And then, of course, the question is, who could sympathize with a ne'er-do-well like Daffy Duck? The answer to that question, of course, is New Jersey, where New York receives constant praise just because it has an iconic green statue and a couple tall buildings. New Jersey suffers constant derision from people who've never bothered to visit it. Daffy Duck is just as funny as Bugs Bunny, but more relatable. Similarly, New Jersey is just as good as New York, but there's gambling there. <laughs> Rich, diamond studded hutches. The people of New Jersey aren't too proud to acknowledge that they've been outsmarted by a rabbit or that they might have something of a speech impediment. Where New Yorkers can only respect winners, New Jersey citizens support a true duck of the people. Ooh, I love him. So tell us, were we dead on or were we dead wrong? Are you really a Wiley E. Coyote kind of person? Or were we over the cuckoo's nest and you dig Tweety Bird? Let us know in the comments and be sure to subscribe to Ranker for lots more content all about you. Thanks for watching. That's all, folks.